Hey guys, my name is Naomi. I'm a NASM certified personal trainer and today we're going to do a step-by-step -step foam rolling tutorial where you can follow along with me throughout the whole entire video. Foam rolling is a form of stretching that I really enjoy incorporating into my daily and regular workout routine, but at the end of the day, the kind of stretching that is going to be best for you is the one that best fits your needs and your personal preferences. Let's get started. If you're here, I know that prioritizing your health and wellness is important to you, so I'm super excited to share today's sponsor with you, Dante Labs. Dante Labs is a DNA testing service that gives information about everything from if you're at risk of developing hereditary diseases, which habits are suited to your body, actionable advice on training, to sports and recovery, and even what food is best for you regarding your DNA. Dante Labs makes the entire process super easy and convenient. Once you get your kit sent to you, just scan the QR code to register your kit online on the Genome Manager platform, where you'll have access to all of your results and can track the progress of your results. Dante Labs has a groundbreaking tassel device, which allows you to collect your blood samples super simply and painlessly right from home. I did have Chang Chang do this part for me just because I was a little scared that it would be painful, but it really wasn't at all, and I could definitely do this part myself. After collecting my sample, I just put it in the return packaging included with the order, dropped it off at my local post office, and waited for my results. Once my results were in, I got an email and was able to access my results right away online via the Genome Manager platform. The results include four different panels including health risks, fitness, nutrigenetics, and wellness. You can download all this information and also have unlimited access to your genomic data. I found out super cool info like if I have a predisposition to headaches and weight gain, my alcohol sensitivity as well as lactose sensitivity. I learned more about the effect of caffeine on my personal sleep and my ability to memorize things. I could even see if I was at risk for diseases like Parkinson's and breast cancer. These things you really don't find out with regular tests that I think are amazing to know and be aware of because it really can influence your day-to-day -day life and help you make any necessary changes in order to better Best prepare for the future. If you want to find out more about what's in your DNA, be sure to check out Dante Labs. I'll leave the link to their website in the description and pinned comment. Have you ever tried anything like this? What did you think? Thank you Dante Labs for sponsoring this video so that I can continue to create free workout content just like this. First step, we're going to start with our back for a full minute, focusing on the mid to upper back just because the lower back can be more of a sensitive area and more uncomfortable to foam roll. If you've never foam rolled before, simply place the foam roller up and center under your back with feet on the ground. Starting with knees bent, push off your feet and extend your legs to bring the foam roller down to the middle of your back. Bend your knees to bring the roller back up and simply repeat. I also like to keep my hands over my stomach or behind my head when rolling out my back. You will see me readjust here and there just because the foam roller can sometimes get uncentered, so I'm just recentering it back into place. This foam rolling routine we're doing here is great for anyone at any experience level, but these are definitely not the only areas of your body that you can foam roll. Switching over to glutes, I'm going to bring the foam roller to one side of my booty, lean back on the same arm as that side with both feet on the ground, and then push off my feet to move the roller up and down my glute, simply bending my knee and then extending it to move forwards and backwards. As we continue to foam roll, I'm going to give a bit more detail. I'm foam rolling on top of a mat as you see here, just for a bit more cushion between me and the hardwood floors, and to offer a bit more grip for the foam roller as well, otherwise the foam roller by itself on hard ground can be a bit slippery. Let's switch over to the other side, same exact thing for another 30 seconds. In case you're wondering, the black cylindrical thing that I'm on right now is called a foam roller, which is why this method of stretching is called foam rolling. The foam roller I'm using here is a Viper from Hyperize. I'll link this one and the one that I consider the standard foam roller that you'll see most gyms have down in the description if you need to pick one up for yourself to use at home, as well as the mat that I have here. Thank you. 
Moving down the lower body, we'll be doing our hamstrings next. 30 seconds with both of them on the foam roller and then an individual 30 seconds on each single hamstring. Position your legs together on top of the foam roller with hands behind you, carrying the majority of the weight. Start with booty and hips right in front of your hands. Push your hips out away from you, moving your hamstrings up on the roller. Bring your hips back towards your hands to move the roller back down. This one may take a bit more effort and control to do, but with a little bit of practice, you'll have it down. Switching over to only one leg, I'm going to position the leg that we're not foam rolling over to the side with the knee bent and use this leg to push my body back and forth, having the foam roller move up and down the hamstring that we're rolling. Let's do 30 seconds on the other hamstring. Foam rolling is a common term for self myofascial release, aka SMR. However, unless you're a fitness professional, I've never heard anyone call it by its real name. Foam rolling is mainly known for helping to correct muscle imbalances, relaxing your muscles, and helping reduce soreness through improving tissue recovery. However, as science has advanced, many people are opting for other methods of stretching because foam rolling has been shown to not be the most effective method according to new research. But at the end of the day, try out different kinds of stretches and see what feels and works best for you. I personally enjoy foam rolling and continue to include it in my everyday workout routine. Of course, incorporating different methods of stretching and mobility exercises is even better. Following, let's do our calves, just one at a time for 30 seconds. With both hands behind you, position one calf on top of the roller and the other foot on the ground with knee bent. Again, using the leg that's on the ground to push the body forwards and backwards on the foam roller. Switching cows for another 30 seconds. Lastly, we'll do 30 seconds on the quads. You can definitely do one quad at a time, but that is a little bit more tricky to do, so we'll just be doing both at the same time. Position your legs right next to each other on top of the foam roller with hands on the ground. Starting with arms extended and foam roller at the top of your quads, pull yourself up to move the foam roller down your legs. Extend your arms back down again and repeat. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you guys have any questions about foam rolling, drop them in the comment down below. Or if you have any suggestions or recommendations for future videos that you'd like me to create for you guys, I'd be more than happy to hear them as well. So make sure to drop them in the comment down below. Also, don't forget to check out today's sponsor, Dante Labs. All their information and their link to shop will also be in the description. Thanks again and have a wonderful rest of your week.